48 Hours investigates the death of a Georgia woman that local authorities believe was suspicious. Just days after the wife of a police officer made allegations of abuse against her husband, he claimed she took her own life. The medical examiner ruled the death of Amanda Peralt a suicide. But the sheriff and the district attorney believe she was shot by her husband, Seth. CBS News anchor, that's Anne-Marie Green, on assignment for 48 Hours, has the story. It was February 3rd, 2020, when Seth Perolt, then a police officer for the city of Eatonton, Georgia, reported his 44-year-old wife, Amanda, had shot and killed herself. Putnam County Sheriff Howard Sills was in charge of the investigation. He said that they were in bed and they were arguing, and then all of a sudden, she just produced the gun out of thin air and executed herself. But Sills says from the start, he wasn't buying Perolt's story. For one thing, the crime scene didn't look like a suicide to the sheriff. Her body is flat on her back, her legs are almost together, and her arms are tucked against her side with her hands cut. This wasn't right. Also of concern to Sills was the way this Smith & Wesson 380, which belonged to Seth Perolt, was found lying next to Amanda's body with its magazine ejected. The magazine, it was near her right side. And the pistol itself was way down here below her left foot. There's something not adding up. District Attorney Wright Barksdale points to the fact that just six days before Amanda Perolt's death, she had called 911 and had her husband arrested on charges of simple battery and family violence. The next day, he made bond. I think he hid behind a badge and wore a mask every day. Nice house, law enforcement. But behind that door to that house, he was pretty abusive. Based in part on the crime scene and allegations of abuse, Barksdale charged 44-year-old Perolt with murder. But seven months later, the medical examiner in the case issued her report, ruling Amanda Perolt's death a suicide. Ooh, the timing of that seems very Whoa. suspicious. It, it, and does, it does, it does. What does a husband say happened? So the husband says, and he sort of admits this was not the best relationship, that they fought a lot, but it was not an abusive relationship. Even though, that she, had, even though she had filed a claim of abuse. The husband says she lied. Oh. She called 911 and she lied, and she was racked with guilt because he was arrested. Yeah. There was a good possibility he was going to lose his job, and more importantly, lose custody of his young daughter, mm. who he had just recently gotten. He says she was so guilty because she had made that phone call to 911 that she killed herself. Mm -hmm. Now, he says also that he has proof of her state of mind at the time. And she would leave her daughter? She felt so guilty that she would not leave her, her daughter. Not her daughter. Oh, it's, his, it's daughter. his daughter. He was the stepmom. Okay. Yeah. So what is his defense? So the defense is like, look at the science. The medical examiner said it was a suicide. The medical examiner was grilled on the stand. She never deviated from that conclusion. But it's not just the medical examiner's report. There was barely any blood on him. We're talking about a tiny drop of blood and almost no gunpowder residue. So you would think if you were holding a gun, yes. tr you would have a little more than trace gunpowder residue. Trace gunpowder residue on a right. police officer. That's not a surprise. Mm -hmm. So they say, if you look at the science, the science tells a different tale. Wow. Mm -hmm. Speck of blood, though? Right. Tiny. Tiny, okay. Yeah. But tiny matters. Yeah. yeah. And there's a doorbell video. I mean, you've got all sorts of elements in it's this It's a story. really interesting story, yeah. All right. Anne-Marie Green, in your words, it's good to be with you. Good I'm so glad you're you here. you guys, too. It's nice to have you at the table. <laughs> and I'll pop a pink color. Love that. <laughs> you can see Anne-Marie's report. It's called The Death of an Officer's Wife on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, 9 Central, right here on CBS and Paramount+. Plus.